According to Baumol, the economist that uh, came out with contestable markets, monopolies can actually be made competitive. So here's how. A market is perfectly contestable when the cost of entry and exit by potential rivals are zero. So the barrier to entry is zero. And when such entry can be made very fast. In such cases, the moment it becomes possible to earn super normal profits, new firms will come in, even though you're the only guy in the firm right now. So even though you're a monopoly, so long as the barriers to entry is very low, new firms can come in and drive profits down to a normal value. The sheer threat of this happening, this doesn't need to happen, but the threat of this happening um, will ensure that the firm in the market will keep prices down and it only makes normal profits. And it sounds very good. And of course, it will produce as efficiently as possible, taking advantage of any economies of scale and new technology. Now, if it do not do this, the rivals will enter and it will erode the profit. It sounds very good, but does this happen in real life? Well, it doesn't, because most of people still remain as monopolies. The most likely reason has got to do with the economies of scale and the size of the market. To operate on a minimum efficient scale, the firm might have to be you know, so large relative to the market that there's only one room for one firm in the industry. And if a new firm doesn't, does come into the market, then uh, you know, one or two other firms may not survive the competition. Barriers to entry also cause, uh, can be significant. A study has done sh that shows that 5% of the sunk cost can actually be enough to deter entrance. In this case, you know, how can contestable markets work? And it's a theory that's founded basically on a lot of assumptions. So actually, it doesn't really work in real life.